what makes John Bonham such a good drummer? So many people have put those videos up. What makes John Bonham such a good drummer? Well, you have his touch, his feel, his fills, his taste, the way he tuned his drums, Jimmy Page's production. But here's the deal. This is the elusive, this is one of the big things that makes it, obviously it's not distinct, like this is the one thing that makes him great, but this is one of the biggest ingredients. His feel. Now we've said that people will talk about that, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get a little more specific in Feelberg. What Bonham does, did, what a lot of musicians do and have done, is slightly swing. Now what I'm saying is what the concept here I'm gonna talk about is the, instead of thinking of binary terms like you're either swinging or you're not, okay? That's kinda true. You kinda, once you sort of kinda start to swing, you are swinging. But it, what I'm saying is, is let's say in notes, if you're playing eighth notes, like one and two and three and four and, right? People would say swing, it'd be like one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. Instantly what happens is, is that the off eighth note, so in one and, two and, three and, four and, that those ands are shifting to the a uh of one anna, or one triplet. Chunk, okay? My point is, <laughs> my point is, is you can very slightly just move a little off the and one and two, right? You can move a teeny bit off. You don't have to go all the way to the ah uh in tripletville, okay? You don't have to go to, if the and in 16th noteville is 50, right? That's the half value, one, 50%, two, like smack dab in the middle. The uh is 66.6%, correct? 66.6% repeating, if you go one and ah, uh, that's the nature of it. One, zero, we'll say. 33.3 repeating, 66%, six, what I'm saying is, is that and that occurs in one and, two and, you can slightly move that, instead of it being at 50%, you can go to 51%. You don't have to go to 66.6. .6. You can go to 52%, go to 53. You can approach, you can approach that 66%, Indeed, the 75%, if you're going to do a hardcore 16th swing, one E and a two E and a three, or in fact, all the way to 99.999% repeating. So, what Bonham used to do, and it was just in his feel, it was like a lope. It wasn't just in certain songs. It wasn't necessarily in every song. But it was... It was in a lot of songs and in his general feel is a very slight swing. So here we go, what I'm gonna do here is, so here we are going one and a two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, that's straight. Half, we're getting half, right? We're cutting that like one and two, like straight down the middle, ah, okay? If we do a, a triplet, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, 33.3, 3, 66, 3, 33 point. What happens is, what Bonham would do, especially in songs, and these are the best songs, it is humid down here again. The best songs to consider, right off the bat, that, you, that will come easily to mind, is Whole Lot of Love. Heartbreaker, Over the Hills and Far Away. So in Heartbreaker, da 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 ba da da ba da da na uh. Now when you, even though that's not exactly what he played, but what's implied there is Do you understand? It's not going. It's so you could really play in there in Heartbreaker, 
or in Over the Hills and Far Away, or in Whole Lot of Love, it'd be like. <laughs> Those eighth notes, oftentimes you would just put it in this parlance. Those eighth notes bottom plays, one that are counted on the hi hat, that off eighth note, or eighth note, meaning the eighth proper, if, if like one, two, three, four, the eighth notes we'll call it as relative to the one, two, three, four quarters, but when you divide them in two, you get eighth notes. The and one, and two, and three, and. That and is very slightly pushed a little. So instead of one and two and, it's like this, one and two. Plus one and two and three. It gets, it starts moving towards Swingville. Watch this. So I'm gonna go with my two hands and watch this. See how my left hand is playing that, that eighth note, the and, seriously? Well, we'll start to move that and a little. So we're gonna get it real, we're gonna move it all the way from the middle, all the way almost to the next note. So much of what the crack of deliciousness of what makes Bonham's drumming so tasty, therein lies a thread of swing, but not necessarily like spang a lang. Do you know what I mean? We're taught like da 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 da. It's real. It's it is a swing, but it's real subtle. Uh, so then, um, heartbreaker. Uh, Slightly exaggerated, that's not the bass drum and stuff he's playing, but do you hear that? There's a difference between. Swung straight. And again, reminding everybody, of course, 16ths aren't being played there, but the eighths are, right? Do you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of love, too. Uh, 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 uh. Instead of thinking of it as like swing, you almost want to think of it as like chug a lug. Chug a lug a chug a chug a chug a lug a chug a lug a chug a You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm telling you, PhDs could be written on this. But do, do you know the point I'm trying to make? Seriously. Th those are I, the good examples. Uh, there's a lot of examples. Um, but I do think whole lot of love over the hills far away, over the hills and far away, as well as, um, heartbreaker. Thank you for watching more videos on the way. If you want to shoot any emails, that have questions about gear or drumming or bottom or anything, bonzolium at gmail.com. Of course, you got to check out PFOZ people's front of Zeppelin right here on YouTube. You type into YouTuber and need Google PFOZ. This will come up. George is playing the drums in this George and Ivan and Pete. And of course, there's Bonzology, George's channel, B-O-N-Z-O-L-O-G-Y. See, that's, that's, I could do that with Bonzolium, too. B-O-N-Z-O-L-E-U-M. Or in Bonzology case, B-O-N-Z-O. L-O-G-Y. Isn't that right? Yeah, Bonzology with George. So again, I gotta go up and see what the hell's going on with Moxie. There might be a flying saucer on, on my front lawn. We'll see what's happening. But again, I, I'm almost recovered from my thing, which is wonderful. And um, again, more videos on the way. Thank you very much for, for liking and subscribing and stuff. Be back shortly.